Hello, welcome to the Matthew Alton Art Channel again. Um, I'm going to do um, a pencil sketch, male nude pencil sketch today using the Nick Pro mechanical pencils that I bought from Amazon. I'll put a link to them as usual in the description of the video if you're interested in purchasing them. I really recommend them, they're really good. I'm going to use a, a sort of 2mm 2B, um, so quite a soft pencil. Um, sharpened using this very tiny sharpener here for the actual lead okay so it's a model that's posed for me f uh, quite a while ago um so i took photographs and using a photograph from that that session um let's see how we get on it's been a while since i did any sketching in the sketchbook um starting in the way that i normally seem to start when sketching person doing the head first but importantly not putting too much detail in that just getting the angle of the head it's quite a scrunched up pose as you'll see in a minute so quite a difficult pose to get all the lengths and proportions right um, it's a very um, flexible model that posed for me a few years ago I don't think I could get myself into this sort of shape, to be fair. We'll see what the actual shape is as it, as it develops. Quite a lot of foreshortening in certain parts. So again, you can see that I'm sort of laying out all of the outlines of the figure because it's more of a complicated pose. start adding shading once I've, I've got everything in the right place. I'm starting with the brow as usual on a, on a sort of head which sort of gives you a place to hang everything else on. Because the head is tilting forward slightly, the facial features are all crowded towards the bottom of the face. You see more of the top of the head because the head's forward, leaning on bent elbow hand. Putting the dark of the hair on sort of helps gauge the shading of the rest of the figure darks for the rest of the figure. Much of the figure is in shadow because of the crouched forward pose really, there isn't much in strong light. You'll see that I start with just a very low level shading and then build that up over time as I normally seem to do darker areas that I'm putting on here will get darker as we go through. stomach area is very pointing downward so that it's in shade quite a lot. You'll see that that gets dark throughout the, the drawing. There's a cast shadow here um, from the light that is shining on the model, which is coming from the left of the drawing. I'm trying to sort of shade crosshatch roughly in the direction of the, the body here to give it a more cylindrical it's something I'm not particularly good at but I'm trying to 
improve on that. You can see there on the leg there, I'm not doing that, but on the other leg that's down, I have sort of tried to shade around the leg. Cast shadow from the arm on the leg there. Quite a complicated folded up uh, knee here. Trying to get the, the volume of the, the leg right. Actually sitting on the foot, I don't know if I could do that myself. <laughs> that vertical leg leg there looks too wide in many ways but it, I think it's fairly right just because it's foreshortened and the foot sort of pointing backwards a little bit <coughs> trying to take a little bit of time on the foot because I'm not very good at feet and the point of all these sketches is to practice things I'm not very good at so a challenging pose and lots of hands and feet involved in this, this sketch. Just trying to put a bit of the background shadows in there. I haven't, I haven't gone into any detail really in the background with this, this sketch. I have been doing that more recently. But for this is just a sort of study of the actual figure floating in space almost. So this is the final sketch. Um, I'm quite pleased with it overall. Um, it's a bit scratchy as, as normal uh, for my drawings. But in terms of the actual layout of the figure, it does look like what the figure or the model was doing when they posed for me. Very bendy, as I said. Um, quite pleased with the hand on the left. That's his right hand. That sort of looks quite natural. The arm almost looks too long but it isn't actually. I've sort of measured it on the the photograph that I was working from and it it's just because he was very tall and thin model. Um it took about an hour to do so quite a long time for a sketch really. But overall quite pleased. Um thank you for watching again. Do um like the video which will help the channel subscribe if you haven't already um, and also click the bell and you'll be notified when i do new videos i'm, I'm sort of doing one or two every week um, it's been about one i think in the recent weeks but i'm going to try and up that so thanks once again i'll see you on the next one bye